girl. Was a, an eight-year-old girl kidnapped, raped, and murdered, Asifa Bano, recently. We can talk about who did it, etc. But what killed her was a congregation of factors um, that speak to what's already happening. How do you reel that back? The thing is that there are so many different kinds of rape, right? You, you might have a group of maniacs who rapes and kills a child, but do they then have huge processions of people supporting them, you know? Do they have demands that they be released or that the investigation doesn't continue or that the investigation is handed over to people whom the, the majority community quote unquote trust, you know, I mean the uh, idea- Has happened in this case. Yes, has happened in this case, but has, it keeps happening. I mean, there was a, another person who was arrested for rape in Haryana, uh, a sort of god man. There were massive protests in his favor. There's another god man called Asaram Bapu. He was convicted of rape. The, there had to be security alerts in three states because it was now a question of people supporting him. You see, it's not just that one community rapes and the other doesn't. It isn't that. I'm talking about the public support that comes out. I'm not talking about... And then there's a sort of ritualistic, almost satanic element to it. You know, it isn't just rape and kill, but there's something so terrible about it that you wonder, what is it? You know, what is it? And you read it. I mean, she's one child, but it's happening all over now. And and sometimes I wonder, is this something? You know, is 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 this something? Something that requires the sacrifice of the most beautiful thing, which is a little girl. You know, is there something more to it than just carnal lust and brutality? But. It's very. Uh, well, is there? How do you I, see it? I don't know. You know, because uh, because we are living in this world of um, you know feudalism and uh, you know all kinds of uh, strange beliefs. But what I, I I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I don't know how to think about it. You know, none of us know. Like we are all unable to unable to understand how things have, have come to this. Except you are able to talk about it because this entire book is you talking about it. True. It's me thinking about it, you know, and um, mourning about it and then finding, finding how beautiful, how much beauty still does exist in the saddest places, how much strength and how much power still does exist, you know. I, uh, I have in the last 20 years spent time in what people would consider to be the darkest and most hopeless places, but they have not been, you know, dark and hopeless. And there are people, uh, there are people uh, struggling against it, fighting against it, speaking against it. The, and I, I don't mean in a shallow sort of sloganeering way, but as a way of life, you know, as a, as a deep and dense understanding, a, a, very, a most varied and wide understanding with poetry, with music. Uh, and each of these things has, has such a deep history, you know, such a deep history. I mean, the poets that, that, that ordinary people in the book uh, recite and, and love and go, whose shrines they go to, to lay flowers. You know, you, you look at the power of that, you know, people who don't forget their poets, however much violence is done. So uh, 